and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel, and we are looking at a soggy, soggy Lake Oroville as the rain is starting to fall. It's been falling for a while, and there is plenty of rain coming, and more coming, and more coming, and more after that. Have everything you need to know. This is going to be a long video. There's a lot to talk about. The drought map has came out today, and it has eased. There's a whole bunch to talk about, so let's get right into it. We're going to start right over at Tropical Tidbits. I want to show you the next 16 days as we say goodbye to Lake Oroville. We roll out to Tropical Tidbits now. We are here at Tropical Tidbits and here's the next six hours and we can see there's plenty of rain and snow to talk about. You got a high pressure here and we go to the next 12 hours. You can see it starts to move. We go to the next 18 hours and a dirty high pressure. This is what they call a dirty high pressure. You got a low over here and a high pressure but there's still liquid coming through. That is crazy. We go to the next 24. The high pressure starts to scoot down. This thing starts to dry up just a little bit. We go to the 30 hours. You can see another storm starting to scoot in. 36, 42, 48, 54. You can see there's more rain here in California. I'll go to the 60 hour mark and you can see there's more precipitation heading to California. We go to the 66. You can see that starts to make its way through. The 72, it's continuing to rain here in parts of California. We go to the 78. You can see it's still raining somewhat. We go to the 84. You got another system out here kicking up. We go to the 90. You got more rain coming through. Your low pressure is up over here. We go to the 96. You can see that it's rain after rain. It's just insane. More precipitation here. Go to the 108. Here comes another low pressure. You can see how much rain has already fall. This is just crazy. And we'll hit the play button. You can just sit here and watch it. You can see that it starts to speed up another system comes through after that you got storm after storm it's just insane and here comes another system and then it dries up for a day or two and then here comes another one after that so this could be very interesting and then it finally starts to dry up are we finally at the 384 does it look like we're starting to return back to normal here we will be waiting to see but as of right now it looks like maybe the 21st of january you might be right where you want to be at the 384 hour mark we'll be waiting to see if that comes to pass but let's go look at windy.com and see how much rain is forecasted in snow in the next 10 days at windy.com we go there now your current snowpack here at Mammoth Lakes is 75 inches, South Lake Tahoe 48, Sullivan's 34. We scoot up to Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta has 33 inches. Over here on Mount Shasta, 79. Weed has 34. So you have 58 here, probably a better snowpack. And then we want to go see what the new snow might be. So incredible amounts of snow here. You're talking 152 inches to 128 inches. Chester over here, 100. 20 inches east quincy over here 71 inches so you're talking a whole bunch of snow that's going to fall with these systems coming through 130 inches mammoth lakes 112 so this will definitely take us over the 100 mark for 100 percent for april 1st we'll be watching this it's already really high and I'm, we're going to talk about that in depth here in a little bit of the snow depth and let's roll out to how much rain has fallen thus far here we are in california and check Check this out. Lake Oroville has received 4.87 inches of precipitation in the last 72 hours. Over here, 4.63. This whole area, 6.19 here. This is the same part of the Feather River that received that 7 plus inches a while back. We go down to Lake Oroville itself, like at the dam, and this is about where it's at, 2.28. So you're getting a lot of rain there, but never ever seems like they get as much rain as they do here in the valleys here they always seems like they always receive a lot more like the 4.63 3.55 the lake should start to increase rapidly let's go check the radar and see what it's currently doing there at windy.com here we are at windy.com and you can see that california is wet my friends at bakersfield got some rain and they just received some portersville is getting a lot of rain or snow mammoth lakes is getting precipitation sacramento is getting precipitation
precipitation. Oroville's getting precipitation. Eureka's getting a lot of precipitation. And they say that there's power outages and everything else. Los Angeles, Redlands down here. And you can see that it's really wet down that way. And we'll definitely be watching this. You can see the rain's still falling. And it's going to fall over and over and over again over the next 16 days as I just showed you. Let's roll out and see what the current water levels are around the state. Here we are at the California Major Water Supply Reservoirs. And you can see that the current conditions at Lake Shasta is 34%. Lake Oroville's 39% that has come up. New Bullard's Bar is 69%. Trinity still at a low of 23. Surely they're going to start increasing. We'll be looking at that here in a little while. Kimmich is 72%. San Luis is at 36%. Sonoma's at 33%. Catcom is at 32%. Casitas at 29%. And Casitic is at 44%. Diamond Valley is 61%. Millerton is at 78%. And Pine Flat is at 29%. McClure is at 32%. New Malone's is at 31%. Don Pedro is at 62%. Folsom's at 55%. And that is what's going on there. We're going to roll out to Lake Oroville next. As we roll out to Lake Oroville, you can see that the rain started out at 4 a.m. It was at 16.57. And since then, it's up to 17.43. So that continues to climb. Your current inflows are 34,098. You can see it was at 24,000. So it has has actually come up 10,000 CFS in the last 12 hours and we will go look at your storage acre feet as 1,420,151 and we will continue to roll over to Lake Warville to the graphs. Do you see what I see? They have overtaken last year's mark. They're at 720.78. Last year at this time they were at 720.02. Changes since yesterday 4.65 and I just looked at this last hour as I was getting this together and it was like 3.48 or something along those lines so it has come up another foot since last hour that's incredible water level today is 720.78 feet msl thursday january 5th 2023 at 3 p.m the level is 179.22 feet below full pool of 900 and we continue to roll we are going to roll up to lake shasta next lake shasta's outflows have been cut back the highest they ever got was 1,800 and 39 and that was at 9 a.m. this morning at 3 o'clock they haven't released it but 2 o'clock 25,403 were your inflows and 30 were your outflows so they are letting water out but not very quickly there at the lake and we will go check out the graph next. Here we're looking at the graph and you can see that they are currently 931.19 last year so we were way higher than we were last year. Last year at this time we were 917.09 Changes since yesterday, 1.83 feet. Water level, 931.19 feet. Thursday, January 5th, 2023 at 12 p.m. The level is 135.81 feet below full pool of 1,067. We're going to roll over to Folsom next. So Folsom is currently releasing more water than they have inflows, but that's about to change with all this precipitation that comes. I got a feeling that these inflows are going to be higher than these outflows. Your current outflows are averaging anywhere between 21,624 and 22,000. So somewhere in there, they increased them last hour. So we'll be watching it. Your storage acre feet 525,460 and we will roll to the graph next. As you can see, they continue to let water out at Lake Folsom. Last year at this time, we were at 425.6. Today's water level is 419.83 feet MSL Thursday, January 5th, 2023 at 12 p.m. The level is 46.17 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday, 2.13 and we continue to roll. We are at Trinity and this is the first time this has happened in a very long time. You can see that the lake has actually increased and it's come up 1.80 feet in the last 24 hours. You got a little ways to go before you reach 2020. You're about three and a half foot down or so from 2020. You got a long way to go to get 2022 as the level was 2,220.59 feet. So you're about three foot or so away from that. And 
2,197.39, and they say that, that this is above full pull, and I know that's wrong. We'll go over to the graph next, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So at Lake Trinity, they have a glory hole of 2,370. You can see how it fluctuates here, the highest it's ever been. It's actually made it over the glory hole. That has happened once in 2000, 1974. Since then, it's only happened maybe two times. It come close in 2019, but it's been on a downhill slope, so we will see if this continues to increase. The lowest it's ever been since filled was in 1977, November 9th, and we can see that it's starting to increase as well, so we will be watching that. And there's a picture of Lake Trinity, and we will continue to roll on. You can see that there's zero going out, and your inflows are anywhere between 9,000 and 7,112, so we'll be watching this as well. I will start covering Trinity more often and let's roll on out to snow conditions next. So I found a new feature on here that I didn't know I was able to do. You can see where we were on January 1st but we can change the date and I didn't realize we could do this so this is really good news. So on the 3rd we were at 48, 69, and 76. This is your April 1st. Normal for the dates 133, 182, 2006. We go to today's date of the 5th. 54% 142%, 74%, 186%, and 80%, 203%. What that equals out for the state is 18.4 inches of snow water equivalent, 70% for your average for the state, 179 for this state. So we'll watch it. We'll see. Central's has the most water equivalent of 20 points. Three snow equivalent for the Norse 15.4 so we'll be watching this very carefully and the last stop tonight is the drought map and that's where we're headed next here is your new drought map and you can see that even though California is still in extreme drought there's no exceptional drought anywhere in the state no more that has all been erased and we are down to a severe drought the only place that's an exceptional drought is Utah central Utah and parts of Oregon other than that you can see that moderate drought here which was in severe drought next week when this comes out this will really change even further I'm going to say that this will probably be all orange if not moderate drought with the amount of rain that's coming we'll be waiting to see that's what's going on there and we are done thank you guys for stopping by I hope you enjoyed the video you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one God bless